the program. Only new information this noon. A 15-year-old girl is dead. Five other teenagers are recovering after a shooting in Goldsboro. All of the surviving people are between 15 and 19 years old. WRO's Joe Fisher is live in Goldsboro this noon. And Joe, we still don't know how many shooters police are looking for out of this, right? So many fucking mass shootings in Blackstone. Hey, oh, that video got a little static in it. Oh, got static. Oh shit. Um, I ain't hear no static. Let me, let me hit, tell me, chat. Was it static, you man? Got a bed there. See you later. All right, man. Was it was it static, you guys? No, I want to. Okay, I want to know before I have to. Nah, no. I ain't hear no static. All right, man. Let me let me try again, man. Let me see. But if you do hear it, man, tell me. Following new information this noon, a 15-year-old girl is dead. Five other teenagers are recovering after a shooting in Goldsboro. All of the surviving people are between 15 and 19 years old. WRO's Joe Fisher is live in Goldsboro this noon. And Joe, we still don't know how many shooters police are looking for out of this, right? <laughs> Jeff, that's right. And Goldsboro police have not released any information about potential suspects or persons of interest. You mentioned that 15 year old girl was shot and killed here in Goldsboro last night. And we do have her cousin here with us uh, right now. And just uh, tell me a little bit. We, we've just been talking for the past 30 seconds. Bring me up to speed with what you know to be true about last night. I know she was a beautiful young lady with a beautiful spirit. I know her mom is a hardworking young lady, which is my cousin. Her grandmother owned a ministry, which is to help feed the um, community. And she reached out to certain like people in need, and they 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 anointed people. They're Christians. They, I mean, I can't I go on on about the situation, but I'm just happened to come up to my cousin, uh, one of my foundation women's house, and um, I'm just lost for words. Cause about three years ago, I had a cousin who was gunned down in Goldsboro. Matez, and um, he was shot over there by the new projects and left for dead. And he was only 16 years old. And he was a young, young man. And just to see this happening over and over again in our community, as a as a mother, it's something got to be done about the gun violence. What is going through the heart? Hey, man, I like this lady, man. She didn't say the girl was funny. That was good, man. I yeah. Gave Facts. Facts. She gave him background on the family. Yeah. Okay, she come from a good home. Hey, uh, she blamed the gun. Yeah, right she again. did blame the gun. Yeah, but. well, I mean, but you know, you got that, man. Give her a break, man. I mean, she ain't perfect. I, right. I mean, that's like water's wet. Um, yeah, at least she called the shit out, you know. But <sighs> it's probably not be for, done right? about the gun violence. What is going through the hearts of you and your family members this morning uh, regarding the fifteen-year-old? We are outraged. We're brokenhearted. I mean, to see a mother cry like that. I'm a mother, and this is a mother cry like that. I mean, just embrace my soul. We come from a big family, and we're gonna pull it together. But we want justice for my little cousin. Whoever done this, I ask you, please, if you got any sense of care for yourself, and just come and turn yourself in. Just turn yourself in. We know from police that there was, you know, a large party. There were dozens of people, you know, in the backyard of a home right here near Lionel Street and near Leslie Street. Um, what was the party? What was the gathering? I'm not for sure. I don't like, like I said, once again, I'm a cousin. I'm related to, I don't like to speak on whoever the house was at because I don't know the people. All I know uh -oh. they was having a good time. You know, spring break, the kids want something to do. They was out having a good time. The problem uh -oh. with parties in Blackistan is, like she said, it was dozens. Never go there. If it's dozens of people there, right? Let's just say, Chinzy, you throw a party at your house, right? It's dozens of some people there. One of those people could have beef. Just one. And if their ops find out they're there, these niggas are so fucking foul and soulless. They'll come and just spray the fucking party. Yeah. In yeah. the party, not outside. In the party. Yeah. Yep, just like that Dadeville story. All of that story, I mean, it, it happens all the time. Yeah, it does. They'll come up and just spray the party, not the person, the party, because they have beef with one person that's happened to be there. And you yeah. could not know that person. That person could have been invited by somebody who you invited, a friend of somebody you invited. There could be six degrees of separation that how that person got to that party. Yeah, like my my graduation party got shot up. Like um, when I graduated high school, they had threw a little party at some bando, 
and they plugged up a speaker and and in like some abandoned house and we was partying i had left early but you know an hour later everybody calling me like the party got shut up shit crazy so you rolled back through an hour later then no i didn't roll back through they called me and <laughs> let me know shit i was in the, i was at the crib well my homeboy's crib at that point sure you were sure you were <laughs> Sports saved your life. You probably had to get up for practice, huh? It was something like that, probably. Yeah, man. Whew. A good time enjoying each other. And I guess it was some words between somebody else that was there and they just came back and did whatever. I don't know. Like I said, I'm part of Women's I Hope Foundation. We serve the community. Mm-hmm. We help feed the hungry. We try to um, talk to young teens about teen violence and things of that nature. And we just want gestures for my cousin. We want whoever done this to come forward and be honest with itself. Even though it was might have been a mistake that didn't mean to do it, it just happened. But be honest and come what? forward. What? What the fuck? A mistake is crazy. Already starting the mammy bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby, it was just a mistake. Like, I don't give a fuck what this bitch says. <laughs> <laughs> Salute to the left yeah. seven, <laughs> aka Cal Ripkin, aka the real MVP coming through once again, man. Fucking, 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 um, goddamn real MVP, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, man, salute, man. Um, but yeah, <laughs> listen, listen, man, you let her talk long enough. See, this is the thing about it. If you let them talk long enough, they're gonna remember. She was doing good. That's why I just like, man, she just can't let them talk too long, you know? Just cut her off, yeah. she, cut her off. That she said that shit at first and let it be that he let her he letting her talk too long and it was a mistake. That's crazy. Regressing to the mean. <laughs> Women's I Hope Foundation. We serve the community. Mm-hmm. We help feed the hungry. We try to um talk to young teens about teen violence and things of that nature. And we just want gestures for my cousin. We want whoever done this to come forward and be honest with itself. Even though it was might have been a mistake that didn't mean to do it, it just happened. But be honest and come forward so we get closure do you know based off of people you've talked to whether multiple people were shooting or if it was one i person? don't know i just know right now my main concern focus is my family just helping them being there for them and support them the best i can and being a mother of young a young child and children i just want to help her talk to me about joyana what are you going to remember most about her she was talented she loved to do hair she had dreams of being a stylist the love she shared for her family, the love she shared for her friends, and just she's a joy. She had a beautiful smile. She's like a butterfly. She just always was positive. Never out there and doing crazy. She was just positive, young, bright young lady that had a big future at her. And her mother just had purchased a home for them, and she was so excited about that. Four bedroom, nice house for them, and she was trying to do something for her children. And as a mother, it's sad because when we grew up in a city like this, the city is small. It's no reason for everybody around here killing each other. It got to stop. <laughs> This city small. No reason for everybody right here be killing each other. You know your neighborhood shit though, and you just got random sun men wandering around in the background. Yeah, every sun man that's walked past has been like limping and shit. Yeah, and they got the head on a swivel. You know your area shit. And she was normalized to the whole situation because she's like, "It's a small city. Don't gotta be doing all the killing." And so in a big city, supposed to be doing all the killing and shit. Yeah, I mean, still though, like. At, everywhere we are is no fucking refuge man there's no sanctuary if we're there you're gonna have this goldsboro like you don't hear goldsboro when you think of fucking dangerous cities you could name a thousand dangerous cities before you got to goldsboro and it's up and it's turned up in Goldsboro. Like it's turned all the way. You meet a son man from Goldsboro, man. You done met a you could you probably be like, oh, if you like you from like DC or New York or Atlanta, you meet a son man from Goldsboro, you probably looking at him like he a fucking bumpkin or something. That yeah. son man to see nothing but murder his whole fucking life. And murder your ass. Yeah. It's about her. She was talented. She loved to do hair. She had dreams of being a stylist. The love she shared for her family, the love she shared for her friends, and just she was a joy. She had a beautiful smile. She's like a butterfly. She just always was positive. Never out there and doing crazy. She was just positive, young, bright young lady that had a big future at her. And her mother just had purchased a home for them, and she was so excited about that. Four bedroom, nice house for them, and she was trying to do something for her children. 
And as a mother said, because we, we grew up in a city like this, the city is small. There's no reason for everybody around here killing each other. It got to stop. It got to stop. Ma'am, thank you so much for talking to us. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Our hearts are with you and your family, certainly. Again, what we know from last night is this shooting happened at a home in the backyard of a home on Leslie Street in Goldsboro, right around 6.30. That 15-year-old did die here at the scene. Five other people were shot. They were taken to UNC Wayne Healthcare. We are working to get an update on their condition. Again, Goldsboro police this morning saying all of the victims were between ages 15 and 19 years old. We are working to get some more specific ages about those victims and of course any information about suspects we're going to be here in goldsboro throughout the day working to get more information we'll have another update on our news and the beat goes on